Selenium is a popular web testing framework. You can write Selenium tests in programming languages such as Java, Ruby, or C Sharp. I prefer Ruby. Ruby syntax is simple, concise, and easy to read. In my opinion, perfect for test script. Selenium in Ruby is called Selenium WebDriver, and from the download count, you can see it's quite popular. Also, I like using RSpec, the BDD framework for Ruby as our test script syntax. Don't worry if you don't know RSpec. The way it's being used in test script is very simple. For test all new to Ruby, Selenium, RSpec, it can be hassle to get all set up. Even after done that, some find the editor's ID might not be best suitable for writing Selenium test. In this video, I will use the free testing IDE, TestWise Community Edition. We will show writing a couple of Selenium tests in TestWise in a matter of minutes. Installation of TestWise is quicker and simple. Okay. When started, like this. First, we create a new project. Okay. Let's give a name. Then select test framework. Selenium aspect. By the way, it supports water as well. In this example, we selenium type type the URL we want to test against. Okay. On the left, several files have been created. The skeleton of test project, and we can create a new test. Let's start with a login. So that is the RSpec syntax. We give a sweet name, say user authentication, for example. Then we, we're we going to write a test kit called login. OK. If we just run this test now, it will start a Firefox and open the URL, the site. Okay. Obviously, this test doesn't do anything. It's empty. Now we add some test steps. Firstly, we need to install recorder. Selenium comes a default recorder called Selenium IDE, and um, I prefer to use this uh, simple one called Test by Recorder. Here's how to get installed. Go to start page. We drag. This one to a Firefox window and uh, restart. Now go to our site, enable test by recorder, and select Selenium tab, type login. And the test is not complete without uh, a check. So we right click, add verification. We right click, copy the test steps recorded in Selenium, and go to our test group, the test case, and paste. Okay, on line 16 here, let's open a new Firefox. And we've got this in line 7, which comes with the template. So we don't need that one. Also, it goes to the site URL, which we don't need this one. Okay. For my test script, and we right click and run. In TestWise Community Edition, uh, default support Firefox. Good, and test passed. Let's see. Okay. Now let's write a a new one. So wrong password, for example. Some people prefer type. Okay. So and test file come with some helper like script library. Say if I select say Selenium two, um, let's just create this one. There's a find element. Okay. 
SFE is the snipper. So it takes a SFE as an ID, a username, and SK. Send the key, which you can find uh, here. Then we can do SFEI and password key test. Okay, in this line, click button, we can use another approach. It's called, uh, we can use F I password to submit instead of find the letter button to. Anyway, so oh, whoops, which we make we want to fail to so wrong pass. Okay. If we run this test, you might notice that every time we run a test, it starts a brand new Firefox. You can see it drives by web driver, you can see the button. Okay, so good. Oh, we forgot the assertion here. Let's copy. We can do and we format the test script. Now we run this test again. And perform check OK. Some may ask what will test wise show if a test case failed? Okay. Now let's just change uh, this test case. So this it should log in successfully, which means uh, this checkpoint will fail. Okay. Wow. As expected, the test failed in red indicator line. And also go test output, we can show more detailed tests and stack trace. Okay, um, that's it for today. There's a lot more we can cover. Uh, we is but this is already a very long uh, screencast by my standard. We will cover in some refactoring, for example. Check the function. Yeah, and some other features of test wise in other screencasts. Thank you for watching.